Ladies and gentlemen, Onvo L60 production begins soon with a new turquoise blue color option. Here's what to expect in the coming months. The Onvo L60 is about to enter production, and we've got some exciting updates to share. Before diving into the details, let's discuss a recently leaked color option for the Onvo L60, a striking turquoise blue. While opinions on this color vary, with some people not being fans, I find it quite appealing. What are your thoughts on this new color? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. Now, let's move on to the main topic, the production timeline for the Onvo L60. According to a high-ranking executive at Onvo, the production ramp-up is expected to take around four months. Yes, you heard that correctly four months before full production capacity is reached. Here's a brief excerpt from his statement. Production begins in September, with the following months October and November seeing a gradual ramp-up. The first quarter is typically slow, but by the fourth month, production should be in full swing. This statement confirms that deliveries are likely to start in late September, with a gradual increase in production throughout October and November. By December, we can expect production to hit its stride with a significant number of vehicles being rolled out. However, it's important to manage expectations. At the outset, we won't see massive delivery numbers. Instead, there will be a slow but steady increase. There have been many questions about Onvo's pre-orders. Some of you might be wondering whether Onvo will provide any updates on this front. In previous videos, I've mentioned that a portion of these pre-orders might be more about showing support rather than genuine purchase intent. For instance, some sales representatives need to gather as many pre-orders as possible to maintain their positions, even if those pre-orders don't result in actual deliveries. This has led to situations where Onvo sales reps are encouraging Neo sales reps to place pre-orders just to meet certain key performance indicators KPIs. There's also the case of the Onvo CEO, who pre-ordered 102 vehicles as a nod to being the 102nd NEO owner a symbolic gesture rather than a genuine order for 102 cars. Because of this, many of these so-called show support orders are unlikely to result in actual deliveries. When it comes time to finalize these orders, they will probably be cancelled and refunded. This is why neither Onvo nor Neo has released official pre-order numbers, though it's rumored that the pre-orders are three times higher than expected. While pre-orders have been successful, it remains to be seen how many of them will convert into actual sales. At the start, we're not likely to see large-scale deliveries, maybe a few hundred to a couple of thousand vehicles. However, production is expected to ramp up gradually, with the goal of reaching over 10K deliveries by December. It's worth noting that, according to the NEO CEO, Onvo needs to hit at least 20K deliveries for the brand to achieve profitability at its current margins. Interestingly, this target might be easier to reach than expected because the Onvo L60 is being launched at the price originally planned, despite rumors of a potential price reduction. Maintaining this price point should ensure healthy profit margins possibly even more so than NEO vehicles, which often require various incentives and discounts that eat into profits. The cost of producing a NEO vehicle is already quite high, and when you factor in these price cuts and incentives, the profit margins shrink considerably. The gradual ramp up in production is perfectly normal and should be expected. Many pre-order customers will likely wait until they've had a chance to test drive the car before finalizing their orders. They'll want to compare the Onvo L60 with other models, like the Tesla Model Y, to ensure it meets their expectations. This process will naturally take some time, and it will be a while before we see substantial delivery numbers for the Onvo L60. Some of you might be aware that NEO is in the process of constructing its third and fourth factories, which are intended for vehicle production. This has raised concerns among some about whether NEO can meet current demand if it's already struggling with capacity issues. However, it's important to note that the Onvo L60 is being produced on a separate production line within the same factory as NEO. The output of Onvo L60 vehicles is not dependent on NEO production capacity, even though they share the same facility. 
the new factories, known as Factory 3 and Factory 4, are actually designated for Neo Firefly sub-brand and the next Envo model, which will be a larger, more traditional SUV with three rows of seats. This upcoming SUV is also expected to be a strong seller. In a previous video, I discussed Neo high-tech production facilities, which include a large number of robots, automated systems, and AI-driven quality control measures. These advanced technologies ensure that every vehicle is manufactured with incredible precision, down to 0.05 mm. While this level of sophistication takes time to set up and fine-tune, once everything is in place, the production line will be able to churn out vehicles at a rapid pace. What's particularly interesting about Neo Factory is the extensive range of customization options available, even for the Envo L60. Unlike some brands, where many features come standard, Envo offers a wide array of customization choices. To accommodate this level of customization, the factory must be extremely advanced and capable of handling a variety of configurations. This also means that every vehicle produced must undergo rigorous quality control to ensure that it meets the highest standards. The last thing NEO wants is a botched launch, with vehicles being recalled due to quality issues. If you recall, when NEO launched the ET5 in 2022, some cars had to be recalled due to wiring problems. This is a lesson they've likely learned from, and they'll be keen to avoid repeating the same mistakes. So, while the production ramp-up might take some time, it's a necessary step to ensure everything runs smoothly. By the fourth quarter, particularly in December, we should start seeing production ramp-up significantly. However, it's worth noting that the first quarter of 2025, which includes January and February, will coincide with the Chinese New Year. This period often sees a slowdown in activity as people take vacations and return to their hometowns. As a result, deliveries might dip slightly during this time. But once the holidays are over, and people are back with their red packets filled with money, we can expect deliveries to pick up again in March and April of 2025. By then, the Envo production line should be running at full capacity, and we'll likely see the launch of the Firefly sub-brand, which will start delivering vehicles in impressive numbers. Additionally, NEO third-generation vehicles NT 3.0 are expected to roll off the production line in 2025, further bolstering the brand's offerings. In short, 2025 is shaping up to be an exciting year for both NEO and Envo. However, for those who have pre-ordered the Envo L60, it might take some time before their vehicles are delivered, with most deliveries likely occurring in 2025. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.